due to alleged racial profiling. Tyrese Gibson filed a $1 million lawsuit against Home Depot. Tyrese Gibson filed a lawsuit against the Home Depot, claiming that during an incident at a store in West Hills, California, earlier this year, he was the victim of racial profiling. Gibson and two associates, Eric Mora and Manuel Hernandez, asserted in court documents filed on Wednesday, August 9, in La Superior Court, that they experienced outrageous discriminatory mistreatment and consumer racial profiling firsthand on February 11. According to the lawsuit, Gibson made the decision to remain in his car and let the other two men finish using his credit card. Fans of the singer began to notice Gibson was in the store, and earlier, he had excited the crowd. The Baby Boy star reportedly told the cashier of his plans. According to the suit, Gibson asked the cashier if the cashier needed anything further from him to complete the transaction. The cashier said no, and that Gibson could leave. However, the store associate apparently refused to complete the transaction, even after the actor called on FaceTime and even returned to the store to complete the order. The cashier gave no reasonable explanation other than repeating store policy and demanded to see a form of identification, the complaint stated. The manager refused to speak with Gibson in person. It was only after a significant heated discussion with the cashier that Gibson was finally able to complete the transaction. At the foundation of who we are our diversity and respect for all individuals, discrimination of any kind is not accepted. We appreciate Mr. Gibson as a customer, and we have communicated with him and his attorneys multiple times in the months following this incident in an effort to address his concerns. We'll keep doing that, the statement said. The Fast and Furious actor claims that the $1 million in damages the trio is requesting is appropriate given his expenses at the home improvement company over the years. In addition, the group is requesting pre- and post-judgment interest, statutory damages, attorney's fees, punitive damages, a declaratory judgment upholding Home Depot's violation of California's UNRWA Civil Rights Act, and any other suitable relief that the court may find necessary.